So FLIP3 mutated AML is a particularly aggressive subtype of AML. Um, we know that we do have FLIP3 inhibitors that can target the FLIP3 clone. So we have mitostorin, but that's approved for in combination with intensive chemotherapy for younger patients who are suitable for intensive chemotherapy. And we have gilteritinib, which is generally considered a more potent FLIP3 inhibitor that's approved in the relapsed refractory setting for patients with FLIP3 mutated AML. So in this study, we want to evaluate the using gilteritinib, a potent FLIP3 inhibitor, in combination with lower intensity therapy, specifically azacitinib and venetoclax, in patients who are older and not fit for intensive chemotherapy. So we give the triplet regimen of azacitinib, venetoclax, and gilteritinib. Uh, we had initially done a phase one portion of the study. We found that an 80 milligram dose of gilteritinib uh, seems to be uh, better tolerated. So it's standard dose azacitinib, venetoclax, along with gilteritinib, 80 milligrams daily. We do see that this combination does add some myelosuppression to this regimen. So uh, we do a bone marrow on day 14 of the first cycle. And uh, if the bone marrow is in remission at that point, which it is in 90% of patients, we stop the, both the venetoclax and the gilteritinib to allow for count recovery. And then in cycle two and beyond, we do dose-reduced azacitinib and venetoclax. So five days of azacitidine, seven days of venetoclax, along with continuous gilteritinib 80 milligrams daily. So what we've seen with this regimen is that actually all of the patients in the front line have responded. So that's out of 30 patients, all have responded. 90% of those are a full complete remission. So with full count recovery. So we're very encouraged by that and very high rates of MRD negativity. Um, these are older patients, so most of them have not gone to transplant, but with even, even and which is considered normally standard of care for patients who at least are, are suitable, uh, who have a FLIP3 mutated AML. But despite this, we've seen very encouraging uh, outcomes. So the two-year survival is around 70%. And if we compare that to the Viali A, which was the study that led to the approval of azacitin and venetoclax, if we look at the subgroup analysis from that study, which in, including either FLT3, ITD, or TKD mutations, the two-year survival is about 20 to 40%. And we're, we're reporting now a two-year survival of 70%, which certainly seems to be better than the historical expectations. So we're very encouraged. We're very encouraged encouraged by uh, this study, uh, and we hope that in the future this will be considered a standard of care to use these FLT3 inhibitors, specifically gilteritinib, in combination with lower intensity therapy for older patients who are considered unfit for intensive therapy.